So in the house, you've got your recliner, you've got your man chair, all right? Out in the yard, you've got your lawn chairs and you've got your hammocks. Well, what do you got in the garage? I'll tell you. Opportunity. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here is the garage recliner, right here. May not look like much, but it is super simple to build. This is Delta, by the way. It's a high Delta. I'm filming. I'm doing a video. Cool girl. This is the garage recliner. It's super, super simple to make. All right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First off, let me show you my uh, schematics. Okay. Now, full disclosure, I didn't design this thing. Okay. Years ago, when I was a kid, I was out camping with some buddies. One of the dads brought this thing along. I'm like, that is freaking cool. I remember this plan for years and years and years. All right. So, this is the plan right here. Okay. Pause it. So I'm gonna take this down just a second. Okay. Pause it. All right. Cool. So this is what it is, all right? I made the whole thing out of two by 10, all right? But you make it out of whatever you got lying around the shop, all right? You can do two by six, it might be a little bit narrow. Two by eight would be good. Two by 10 is perfect, that's why I use. Two by 12, whatever you can get your hands on, okay? Now, for the backrest piece, what you need is about 40 inches, okay? That's how long I made, I made mine, because basically that's what I had laying around the shop, okay? About 15 inches up, right there, you're going to cut out what's called a mortise, all right? A mortise is basically a fancy word for a hole, all right? You're going to cut that out, and you're going to make it about one and three-quarter inches wide, okay? Now, Chris, a two-by material is one and a half. You only need to make it one and a half. No, this isn't dovetails. You don't want this thing to fit super, super tight. You want this thing to slide, you know, right in there, right out without a whole lot of struggle. You don't want to beat on this thing because you want this thing to break down when you're not using it so it'll save space. Big thinking. Now, on the sides here, you want to leave about an inch and a half on each side. That's going to provide enough strength to hold everything together so this thing doesn't snap. Okay? Now, over here, got all these updates, making <laughs> these noises on, on this thing. All right, on this side, this is the actual seat part. All right? Here's where your butt goes, right on this part. And then this part acts, actually acts like a big tenon. All right? A tenon, fancy word for the thing that fits in the hole. All right? Male, female, stuff here. Okay? On this one, from the sides, you're going to be cutting out an inch and a half here and an inch and a half here. Why? So that fits in the mortise. All right. Overall length on this, you're looking at 26 inches. And the top part where the seat is right here, I cut that 16 and a half inches away from the top. Okay. Now these edges up here, right there and there and there and there, all I did is just put them at a 45 and then I hit them with the router. Okay, so round it over the entire thing. So it's super, super comfortable to sit on. All right, now let me show you how easy this thing fits together. All right, I hope I'm not gonna drop my camera here. I'm just bouncing it. Okay, so you got it right here. All right, your back part, here's the feet part. And literally, just like that, bam. And you got a recliner for the garage, all right? Now, I've had this thing since a little after I got out of the Marine Corps, and it has been with me ever since, all right? It is super comfortable, great shot on my backside right there, all right? This thing is a lot of fun to build, and literally, you can make this thing in probably 15, 20 minutes, depending on your skill set, depending on the tools you got. Um, but like I said, man, make a dozen of these things. You can go out and actually buy like a 12-footer, Cut the thing in half, and you can make two of these things, okay? Make them with your kids. Make them with your family. They're super, super easy to make. You can have them painted, do all kinds of colors and flowers, whatever they're into, and make this thing really, really cool looking, all right? Also, what you can do is add a piece of leather across the back side. It can make, make it like a, a, a carrying handle and somewhere to slide the seat part of it. So when you're going out camping or watching the game outside or whatever, you just pick this thing up, move it around, and this thing's going to last you for a long, long time, all right? got any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, whines, bitches, moans, groans, leave them down below. I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks for watching.